How cute. Spy whale. <laughs> Interesting stuff. All right, let's take a look outside right now. And we're trying to get that sun to peek out beyond the clouds. It's having a hard time. We're still expecting it to happen. There's a chance. It's only noon, so we've got time. a pretty decent chance. Yeah, sometimes it just takes a little while, you yeah. know? And some places are seeing a little bit more sunshine. It's just over top of Seattle here, it's really cloudy. But I want to show you a time lapse over Auburn right now where you can see some blue sky peeking through, some sun gaze rays. Gazing down, <laughs> you get what I'm saying. Uh, so we are seeing a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Just depends on where you are. But we are expecting, like I said, some increasing sunshine throughout the afternoon. Now, I don't expect it to be a completely sunny day with no clouds out there, but we will see more sunshine than we're seeing now, I do expect. But you can see lots of cloud cover over us currently. There is an area, a ridge of high pressure offshore, and that's actually going to keep our weekend looking fabulous. And even going into next week as well, it's going to stay put. Now, we do expect a little short wave trough to move in Saturday night through Sunday, but it really looks to only bring a few clouds for us. Uh, we look to stay dry. A stray shower not out of the question, but for the most part, we are looking dry this weekend. I would say uh, the majority of us really, I think the chance would be in the mountains maybe. So here's a look at uh, the radar going forward and you can see winds relatively light. We do have some clouds out there. We expect uh, some more sunshine throughout the day. And then as we go into tomorrow, each morning this weekend, we'll start with clouds, but then we'll also burn those off or move them out. And we will expect more sunshine throughout the weekend uh, because of that ridge of high pressure offshore, keeping us nice. And so temperatures right now are still in the 50s, but once that sun finally starts to burn away those clouds and kind of move them out, once that off onshore flow kind of weakens a bit, we will see more sunshine and that will warm us into the low to even mid 60s this afternoon. But right now, most of you are sitting in the low to mid 50s, some upper 50s. But it's time for Fido's forecast to get you through the next several hours. And this is Oliver. This is actually one of our producer's dogs um, from Bellevue. So adorable. Just look at that little face. I believe that is a Bichon. My mom used to have one. So as we go throughout your afternoon today, notice those temperatures, as I mentioned, low to mid 60s for that daytime high with partly cloudy conditions. So enjoy that walk with Kelly Oliver. OK, so it's also time to look at the mountain forecast because that's actually where we're seeing a little bit more sunshine. So they had morning clouds too, turning to a mostly sunny afternoon with those temperatures ranging in the low to mid 50s. Winds out of the west about 5 to 10 miles per hour and that snow level up to 9000 feet. Yeah, things are warming up. I think everyone knows now it is May. We are approaching summer 49 days away, but who's counting, right? So here's a look at your seven day forecast. Partly cloudy today once we get rid of these morning clouds and then as we get into the weekend again, morning clouds turning to afternoon sunshine with highs closer to 70 degrees and then notice as we go into the rest of next week, we are expecting mostly dry conditions with temperatures approaching the mid 70s. So it is looking fabulous. It's actually looking pretty dry for a while too. Mm. And I'll be talking about that a little bit later on, uh, you know, because last year we tied for the driest May. So we'll see if we're on track for that again. It 